Back looking at the output from the Siemens F3, uh, the C Plus 80 F3, uh, have the test adapter connector hooked up, pins 1 and 2 on X11. Uh, this is the Y0004 board. I believe that these signals are coming from an IC underneath the board, there's a few of them under there, uh, and are coming from the Barrow slash scale input. Uh, because that is, I believe, what's reading this magnetic encoder along here. So none of these pins hook directly up to that unless they're going through one of the resistors first. Um, one of the reasons why I believe this is coming from the ICs underneath is we've got a nice square wave pattern. Some of the other pins on here do have a sine wave, uh, and that's typically from what I've seen so far, what the sensors on the C place are outputting is basically all sine waves, uh, just the way they work. Um, so, I'm pretty sure this is coming from the magnetic encoder. Uh, it's a very, very fine output. Um, that's at 1.2 volts per div and 200 microseconds per division horizontally. So what I really like about this is it looks an awful lot like a quadrature encoder. So if I'm running it one direction, channel one is preceding um, channel two, which is green, uh, and the other way, or if I push the gantry in the other direction, this is on the y-axis, um, there is a similar barrow unit in the head, and that's up here somewhere. Um, I believe that connector. So I'm assuming I'll find the same outputs on its test header, which is X28, as I do on this test header, except for the Y axis. Sorry, that's the X axis across there. So this is gonna be interesting to film because I have to hold the camera and run the oscilloscope. So if I run this, I can push really slowly, and you can see the states changing as I'm pushing, um, but not really getting a square wave. So if I move this a little bit faster, from what the uh, service manual says, we're getting 0 0.0025 millimeters per step. So I don't know if that is what this is outputting, um, so you can see there we've got channel 1 preceding channel 2 as I push away and as we bring it towards us uh, This is difficult uh, It's actually the other way around So there channel 2 is preceding channel 1 as I push away sorry and then as I pull towards channel 1 is preceding channel 2 So it looks like we found some sort of quadrature output or quadrature like output that we could perhaps use the quadrature encoded uh, signal um, for the y-axis and we should have the same signal on the x-axis so we potentially have a way to generate motor feedback other than just the taco gen.